all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move with me. Like that the king, we make the plain simple. Bring it knowledge and fire at reality simple. I just told you a little while ago, these leaders that they call leaders, this included Lena Horne, this included Dick Gregory, and this included comedians, comics, trumpet players, baseball players. Show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader. Show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader, or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader. These aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns. If the black conscious community was a business, they have been out of business a long time ago. Fumbling, poor customer service. They don't know what the hell they're doing. But black power, pan-Africanism, has been turned into a church. And when you are at church, you don't mind getting nothing. When you're in church, you don't mind getting nothing. Let's pass the basket around. Let's, let's pass the basket. Every Sunday, you're passing the basket. Nobody is saying, what's happening with the money? What's going on? So when you are part of a church, when you're part of religion, they usually don't expect to get nothing. I, I don't care what they do with the money. I don't care what they do. I'm serving the Lord. What do, what do the Lord need money for? You are giving your money and your time to the church so it can benefit something that brings uh, praise to your church. So all this blackity black, black power, black first, the Hebrew Israelites, the black Muslims, all this blackity stuff, it's nothing but church. And when you are in church, you expect to get nothing. So people will ask me, why am I so upset with Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam. I'm upset because I thought it was not church. I did not expect to get nothing from church. Now, if a church give you something in return, if a church do something, that's all well and good. But church, you don't expect church to do anything. But the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan claimed, if you help me, we're going to build hospitals and schools and we're, we're all going to be self-employed, all this great stuff. 40 years later, nothing because it's a church. It's a church. You only fool yourself. And so, and so, People will listen to Tariq Nasheed and the Black Authority, Louis Farrakhan and Yvette Carnell and, and all these other people that's out here, Sanetta and Nepal, and you would give them, go in your pocket and give them money because it ain't nothing but a church. These are your favorite preachers and you don't expect to get nothing and you don't intend to do nothing. Not really. So everybody happy. You give them something, give you back nothing, and in the grand scheme of things, nothing is done, and then you're shocked because your condition does not change.
Because ain't nobody doing nothing. <laughs> you know, all that you did was go to church. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Can the sisters get an amen? Can I get an amen? <laughs> Woo. One of the themes, video lectures from the Nation of Islam, one of the things is, you don't see it nowadays, but in the early 80s, one of the things that Minister Farrakhan used to talk on all the time was the time and what must be done. The time and what must be done. We all know what time is. Time is a measuring stick. Actually, it's a, it's a measuring stick of life. Time. Death has no use for time. Once you die, once an elephant die or a blade of grass, once something dies, time no longer exists. There's no need, there's no use for time. Once your car stops, your battery goes dead, it's no use. There's time stops, the wheels stop rolling. It's, it's just over. The dead has no use for time. You will never go to a graveyard and somebody in the graveyard said, hey, I'm, I'm late to go to church. What time is it? <laughs> is, is this Sunday? <laughs> Nobody in the graveyard Nobody in the graveyard is late. <laughs> Nobody in the graveyard is early. <laughs> Time no longer exists for the dead. Now, if anybody know of somebody that has died and they raise your hand and they need this dead person recognize time. All life on this planet, whether you like it or not, you're going to respect time if you are alive. Certain animals, there's a breeding season. If you don't breed, you have to wait till next season. We have winter, a change of seasons, time. We have winter. Fall, spring, summer, time, season, in the time. If you do not do things in the proper time, you'll get caught up. If you do not and understand and do things in time, time dictates life, time dictates death. Time bring your, the clock begins when the sperm meets the egg. Now you are on the clock. Time begins. Even the sperm and the egg is on time because that sperm and that egg can die. It's got a certain amount of time for that sperm to make it to the egg. Everything is on a timetable. So the theme is the time and what must be done. Because if you don't do things on time, if you don't act appropriately, then time dictates whether you live or you die. The time and what must be done. So the sperm meets the egg on time. On time, nine months. What must be done? What must be done? is the woman has to get ready to bring in new life. What must be done? 
call the doctor, boil the water, whatever it is, that's, that's what must be done because of something that happened in the past, in a past time. Now you bring a new life into the world. What must be done? What must be done? Now the baby comes. And you bring the baby, what must be done? I must take this baby and put it on my breast. That what must be done. I gotta change diapers. I gotta feed baby clothes. What must be done on time? Even in your development stages, everything, there's an order to our development in the womb. And they must be done on time. If it's not done on time, then you will have a baby with deformities. You will be born with no arms, no legs. Some people are born with no brain, a little tiny stem. What happened to the brain? Everything must be done on time. If it's not done on time, you're going to have problems. You're going to have deformity, ab abnormalities, or death. Has to be on time. Now, the so called Negro, the Black American, and many of these blacky black people will, will say this. <clears throat> well, you know, the Black American the so-called Negro is deaf, dumb, and blind. That's what we're told. Deaf, dumb, and blind. Mentally dead. <clears throat> the dead has no use for time. Some of us, we ride the bus or the subway. You and I both know that you have to be on time. The bus arrives at 7.30. You need to be there at 7.15. You need to be at the bus stop at 7 o'clock. The bus arrives at 7.30. When you get there at 7.35, 8 o'clock, don't expect the bus to be there. It's going to leave because you were not on time. You know the schedule. You know that you need to be there at 7.30 for the 7.30 bus. Not 7.35. Really not 7.31. You're supposed to be there at 7.30. And then we think that the bus driver is supposed to stop for you when you're late. Hey, Mr. Bus Driver, hey, stop. Hold on. Wait for me. Now, some bus drivers will do that. They will see you and stop the bus so you can get on. They're not required. You're the one that's late. The bus is on time. The time and what must be done. What must be done? Get your happy ass out to bed. Eat your breakfast. Take your shower. Do whatever you can. Get to the bus stop at 7.15 so that you can make the 7.30. The time and what must be done. Thank you.